know, you already save a lot of money every year thanks to our videos. So save on car parts too. Buy them on the Mr. Auto app. Shipping is free. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Lift the logo on the radiator grill, insert the key to release and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of your vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels, raise the front of the vehicle and put in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete the operation. Using a flathead screwdriver, lift the holding springs on the pad, then take it out. Make sure you keep a finger on the spring during the operation to avoid it jumping out. Using a thin flathead screwdriver, remove the caps covering the caliper mounting bolts. Using a socket wrench and a 7mm Allen socket, undo the two caliper mounting bolts. Remove the brake caliper. Put the piston back. For this movement, you must have a brake caliper wind back tool. This is a specific tool that will make it possible to wind the piston back, but also to have it turn on itself to reset the self adjusting system on your handbrake. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a piece of string to one of the coils on the suspension spring. To avoid damaging the brake hose, attach it to the suspension using a cable you have already attached. Using the large flathead screwdriver as a lever, separate the pads from the brake caliper mount. Using a wire brush, clean the brake caliper mount around the area where the pads will be placed. This will facilitate their installation. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease and slide them into the brake caliper mount. The pad with the spring is located inside. Detach the caliper. Put the caliper back in place and screw in the caliper mounting bolts. Put the holding springs back on the pads. You can use a screwdriver. Ensure that the spring is properly inserted in the appropriate hole. Put the caps back in place, clipping them in as you do so. Don't forget to withdraw the electrical cable or string that you attach to hold the caliper. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. 